In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the icon of your folders, apps, and any other things you have on your home screen on your Mac. Let's begin. First of all, you should know that this doesn't really enhance the functionality of your Mac in any way or any form. It's just a design thing, so it's not really useful, it just makes it look cool. Yes, you can change even the icon of an app and even of any folder or anything pretty much you use. To get started, you should have some sort of picture that you want to use as the icon for some of the apps and folders. You can have it in a JPEG format, I think that this works well, but other picture formats should work too. The best idea would be to have the picture in a square format, that means that it's like one by one, just in order to make it look the best. So now locate the thing that you would like to change the icon of in the folder of the finder. That means that if you would like to change the icon of some app, just make sure to locate it in a folder. And then right click on it and get information about it. Or you can use the shortcut on your keyboard, which I believe should be command I. So once you get to this page, you can see all of the information about it, like the size and everything. Leave this window open and locate the picture you want to use as the icon. And make sure to copy it just by clicking on or using the keyboard shortcut command C to copy the image. Then come back to the uh, information window with the get info tab of the app or of the folder and simply paste the icon that you wanted. So you use a command V and you simply paste the photo as the icon right there. And now you should be able to have it working. If it doesn't work for you and you can see just the JPEG or PNG file, I mean the logo and it doesn't work, I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but for now I want to say that if you're new on this channel, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next uploads and the next videos on this channel. So if you're having the very same problem and you can see that only the uh, JPEG or PNG icon is showing up as the folder icon, and not the actual thing and the picture you wanted, then there is a specific like a solution for it, kind of like more in-depth steps that you need to take, so let's get into it right now. So instead of just simply copying the image, the one that you have chosen for the uh, icon for your folder, you have to do it a little bit differently. So you don't just use the command C to copy it, you have to open it up at first. So make sure to click on or right click on the image and click on open with and choose the preview. This is like the, it should be the default thing from Apple, but in case you use something else, make sure to open up uh, this certain image with the preview. So open it up with the preview and there you should see a couple of things like then of course it's like a photo browser and stuff but now you have to click on the edit icon and select all or you can use the command a as you can see right there so it's gonna select the entire image and now you what you have to do again is to click on edit one more time and now copy it or use again command c so you don't just click on command right away you have to perform these steps and hit copy this this way. Now come back to the get info page of whatever folder or application you want to change the icon of and perform the very same steps. So again, click on the icon right there and paste the image using the command V. And now you should be able to see the actual image right there. Depending on the image, it's gonna look either blurry or it's gonna have the shape of that image. I mean, it's up to you to make make it look however you want, but in case you had this type of problem, you have to go through the preview app and select all of them, copy, and then like paste it as the icon in the get info page. For some people, it works. Um, it works this way only. For some people, it just they can simply copy the image and paste it normally without doing all these steps. It's, I don't even know what it depends on, but yeah, you have the solution for everything. You can use PNGs and JPEGs. I mean, these are the most important picture files, but of course use PNGs in case you wanna have like transparent background and transparent parts of the image as the icon that this is like common sense, but yeah. Then of course, make sure to use an image that you like, make sure to use something that actually helps you know what's really going on and what icon means uh, and stuff like that. And in case you don't really have any picture you would like to use, 
they make sure to get some sort of icon packs. You know, like we have in iOS 14, we have um, with the new option to sort of change the icons there. People came up with different style and design of icons, like in different icon packs. And I believe that there are some similar things for a MacBook as well. And if not, then do you just use those from iPhone. Like, what's the deal? You can use whatever you want as uh, as the icon for folders, pictures, and whatever. So yeah, this is how you can use it. Of course, if you change like an icon of, of an app, you can still have it in uh, the dock, for example. So it's still going to carry the very same icon you choose for uh, that specific app. So I guess that this is the end. Hopefully it helped you. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up to let me know that either of these methods actually worked for you. And if you don't want to miss the next uploads and the next videos in which I talk about this kind of stuff, then make sure to subscribe and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.